Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Miranda and today we're going to be talking all about the new Colourpop and Sailor Moon collection that just launched right at the moment that this video is going up probably um, the collection is sold out but they will be restocking I'll still have a link down in the description if you guys are interested in looking at the collection because you still are able to see it and all like the up close um, swatches and everything um, but they are planning on restocking it I'm not sure when but I was sent the whole collection in PR this video is not sponsored I had just received the product but I'm not being paid to talk about it or to make a video or anything like that but we have an eyeshadow palette and the packaging on these is insane. It's so cute. They're like those 90s. I used to have like cards that like did this. But like it's so cute. But that's the eyeshadow palette. Um, it's called the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Pressed Powder Palette. And these are what the colors look like. Um, today I use a little bit of a few things, which you guys wanted to see some more colors. So I hope I delivered pretty well. But there's the eyeshadow palette. You'll see it up close in the actual tutorial. Then we have two blushes. Both of them um, have the same, like design but they both show when um, Usagi or Serena her English name is Serena but in her Usagi is the Japanese name but it's when her and Luna it's when she first finds Luna because she has the band-aid that's covering her crescent moon super duper cute one is a matte this one is called from the moon and the second one is called Cat's Eye, and this one is a more, um, it's got some shimmer to it, but it's also not as pink. Like, when you compare them, the colors are pretty different. Um, I like both colors, but definitely From the Moon is a lot more pink, while Cat's Eye is a lot more peachy pink. Um, but I've used both, and I like both a lot. But both of them also have Luna embossed into the actual blush is that focused that doesn't look focused to me i hope that you guys can see i did do close-ups of all the products so maybe i'll just use those my b-roll we've got two blushes and then finally we have two lip bundles so there's four products total um I have three out of the four because I had given my mom one of the glosses, but there are two bundles. The I'm pretty sure the Daylight bundle comes with Usagi and Sailor Moon. I had, I had them together. I kept them together in the B-roll, so whatever the B-roll shows is what is actually together. Um, I do have clips of both glosses, but here... You know, the ultra blotted lip is on top and the gloss is on the bottom. And then here is the other ultra blotted lip. This one's a lot more of a pink while the this is a focused. But the packaging, oh my god, I'm like such... This is like what all the old gurus used to do with your hand. <laughs> but the packaging is so beautiful. I love the crescent moons all over the cap. And, of course, the name is in the bottom, as per all ColourPop's lip products, they all do that. Also, I didn't even mention, I actually have an Usagi tattoo. I wanted to put this in the beginning, but I do have a little tattoo of our little girl, Sailor Moon. Though so that's when she's not Sailor Moon, it's when, it's, it's when she's normally Serena, but Sailor Moon. So, uh, yeah, that is the full collection. Like I said, I will leave a link down in the description if you're interested. I'm not sure when they're going to be doing a restock again. But you guys can use my code MirandaB5 and you can get $5 off your order, I think. 
It's either $5 off or it's 5%. I think it's $5, which 5 bucks is 5 bucks if you ask me. But yeah, this is the look that I created for today. Um, it's kind of like, I feel like a magical girl with the little buns and the little pink and the glitter and the lashes and everything. I feel like, I feel like I could be in Silly Moon. But if you want to see how I did this look right here, then just keep on watching. Alright, so starting off, I'm going to be using blush. I did have some blush on already earlier, but I'm just going to be putting some more on. In my Instagram video, I had used the shade from the moon, which is the matte hot pink, kind of. But today I'm going to be using the other shade, which is Cat's Eye. And this one is a more, it's still very pink, but it's more like a peachy pink, I guess. Hopefully you guys can see Luna. I can see it, okay, yeah. It's got Luna, and both of them have Luna embossed into the pan, but this one is like a more shimmery blush. When you put it on, it's shimmery, but it's not like overwhelming. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, just based on the fact that it is shimmery. But when you put it on, it's kind of like eyeshadows that have some glitter in them, but when you blend them, it kind of disappears. There's like some, it's very subtle, which I prefer. I prefer matte blushes over shimmers anyway. Just because when I highlight, I don't want to have like double the glitter. So as you can see, it is pink, but it's not like super crazy and it's not super glittery either. Also, I didn't even mention that the blushes and the eyeshadow palette, which you'll see in a second, both have like this old 90s, like 3D, like the animation. I remember when they had like Pokemon cards that used to do this also. I remember having cards that used to do it. But this one just has Usagi and Luna. This is when they first meet because she has the band-aid over her crescent on her forehead. Okay, then the actual eyeshadow palette is so cute. When I first saw this online, it was amazing. I just, I knew I had to have it. But yeah, the actual palette just has her mouth opening and closing. It's just so cute. The aesthetic is literally everything. And then this is what the inside of the palette looks like. On Instagram, I had pretty much done a look using these two colors, plus um, silver crystal for the uh, inner corner and my brow bone. Today, I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I'm sure people want me to use the yellow, probably. I think first I'm going to go into Moon Castle, which is just like a peachy pink transition shade. It's very matte. It's the fourth one in the top row, the last one. I'm just going to pop this into my crease just to start. It'll help blend out the other colors once I put them down. I think I'm going to go into Miracle Romance, which is the neon purple. And at first, I'm just going to put this on like the outer corner just to see what this is all about. This honestly blends really nicely. This blends really nicely into that transition shade, the Mooncastle. So far there's no fallout, like on my face. I'm not being that careful with the shadows. So that's honestly really nice. I think what I'm gonna do is take some concealer. I'm going to not do a cut crease, but like the inner half, kind of. Just like this first third of my lid that I haven't put shadow on. I'm just gonna kind of carve out. I'm just gonna use my finger to tap out 
the edge and blend. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to be taking my brush that I used originally for the purple with no extra product. I'm just very lightly going to blend over that edge that we just created. The blend looks really pretty. I'm going to be taking a smaller brush, like this is the ColourPop E3. And I'm going to go into the shade. I'm going to try Silver Millennium, which I'm pretty sure this is one of their Super Shock formulas. So I'm not really sure how it'll pick up on a brush. Just because these are they're not my favorite formula, the Super Shocks. I like the pressed shadows more just because these really don't pick up with a brush they're better to use with a finger but if i'm trying to be precise and put this over the concealer my finger doesn't really do that i think i'm gonna take some of silver crystal which is more of like a pinky Yeah, this looks way better with Silver Crystal. You can see the glitter a lot better. Okay, now that I have that, I am going to be going back into that brush once again. Just to get rid of that edge that the glitter kind of created. This is so much lighter than what I usually do. I usually don't put shimmers like right there, like really shimmery ones anymore. Okay, so this is going to be the top lash, lash, the top lid. I'm going to go into Tuxedo Rose, I think, which is like the neon pink. And I'm going to put this in, on the outer lower lash line. This is such a good pink. I love it so much. Like, it's so, like, fluorescent. It's just so bright. And it's not like a pressed pigment. And then with this brush, I'm just going to be really blending out that edge so that the purple and pink can kind of come together. Okay, then going in with, the, with an even smaller brush, I'm going to be going in with the yellow, and this is going to go on the lower inner like on my lower lash line, the inner part. Like not my inner corner, but like right under it. When this blends into the pink, it turns into like a really pretty like peachy. I mean that kind of like, this reminds me of like a pixie like berry type look. I just have to do the inner corner. Maybe this I'll try Silver Millennium. We'll try. That kind of worked. I think maybe the brush that I'm using is better. I'm gonna do liner and lashes off camera. I will be doing a dedicated video on how I do my eyeliner, but once again, today is not that day. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop on my liner and lashes and we can move on to lips okay with liner and lashes i feel like this looks really pretty it's definitely like how i used to do my makeup like a few years ago i mean it's not like i don't like it it's just not what i do now you know what i mean anyway we have so the collection comes with four lip products um you they're like two lip bundles. Um, they both come with one ultra blotted lip and they both come with one gloss. I have both ultra blotted lips but I only have one gloss because I gave the other one to my mom because she really liked it. And I'm not going to wear all these glasses. So the one that I have is I have the gloss Sailor Moon and I'm pretty sure Sailor Moon goes with Usagi. And then the other ultra blotted lip is called Bunhead. 
and I don't know what the other gloss is called because <laughs> I don't have it with me. In my video, I had in, on Instagram, I had used Usagi and Sailor Moon together. I'm pretty sure these are in the daylight um, lip bundle, but for the sake of trying new things, I'm going to be using the Ultra Blotted Lip in Bunhead, which this is a very cool toned pink. I'm not too sure how it's going to look on me, just because typically cool tones are not my friend. But we'll see, I suppose. See, I feel like it's too... It doesn't look bad. It's just not my color. But I will also just go ahead and put on Sailor Moon the gloss on top of this just so we can have some shine so one last thing I want to do is that in my Instagram video I had actually used um, silver crystal for my nose highlight and my nose highlights looking a little dull and my cheek highlight because I had to redo my blush but I'm gonna go ahead and take this like, it's such a pretty color for a highlight. Always remember, you can use any makeup wherever you want. You can put eyeshadow on your face. You can put blush on your eyes. Like, you can put shimmery eyeshadow as a highlight. And it's like a good highlight. Like, she's cute. I feel like you could even use very sparingly the pinks as blushes like i feel like if you took this palette and like traveled with it you definitely could use it very like it's very versatile like you have the highlight you got your eyeshadows you have a possible blush what i would probably do is i could even use like one of the peachy orange colors i feel like if i was going to use like one as a blush moon castle would be really nice a nice neutrally warm toned pinky peach um, for the cheeks, I think would look super pretty. But I feel like you have some possibilities in this palette. But alrighty guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys really, really like it. I think it turned out really cute. It's definitely... It reminds me a lot of how I used to do my makeup a couple years ago. Which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not really what I do now. But I wanted to be able to use a few different colors that I hadn't used out of the palette before so you guys could get a different kind of feel from it but um like i said in the beginning i will have a link to um all of the products and the whole collection down in the description as well as the rest of my makeup stuff and all the details for that if you are so inclined to take a peek down there um but go ahead and leave a like if you liked the video or maybe just because why not it gets me engagement and that's pretty good for channels or if you want to see some more content from me and my face then go ahead and subscribe i do lots of different makeup stuff um let me know if you picked up the collection um what products you picked up or if you picked up the whole thing if you got the vault or if you're planning on purchasing anything, what are you interested in? What are your favorite eyeshadows? What are your favorite blushes? Um, I like both br brushes. I like both. Br I like both blushes a lot. Um, my favorite shadow out of the palette is probably Tuxedo Rose. That really nice. It's like a neon pink coral color. It's just so pretty. And Silver Crystal is a beautiful highlight. I like that one a lot too. But if you have any questions on anything or you just want to chat, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next from me. If you want to see more looks using the palette, let me know. I'll see if I can make it happen. But I hope you guys have a great day. I love you so, so much. And thank you very, very much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one.
Bye.